Hi teachers, it's Matthew from Griffin Education Enterprises and in this video, 1% Better Teaching Tips That Add Up, I'm going to show you 5 ways that teachers can search Google like a pro. We are currently up to 3 videos in 1% Better now. I've got links to the other ones in the description below. Make sure you stay around until the end where I show you how to combine all of these Google research hacks into extremely powerful search results. Number 1. Define colon. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you forget the difference between stationary and stationary, or you don't know the meaning of assuage, then define as what you're looking for. At a moment's notice, you'll be able to tell the difference between the two and keep your lesson running. This is also useful for those words that can be rather tricky to pronounce. Chateau. Bordeaux. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Number two, site colon. If you ever want to search a specific website like the ABC or a variety of website domains like .edu, .edu.au or even wa.edu.au, then site colon is something that you will want to use. Let's look at an example. Currently I've got the ABC's website up on the Google search tab and I've also got the word koala. So what's going to happen is that Google's only going to search the ABC for pictures of koalas. It's important to note that this only works for image searches, videos, and news. By typing in site colon .edu and koala, now I'm only searching for pictures of koalas from educational websites. And lastly, with site colon .edu .au, now I'm only searching for pictures of koalas on educational websites within Australia. Number three, file colon. Sometimes the results on a web page won't provide you with the information that you're looking for. In this instance, you might want to use file colon. For example, let's compare the search results of suffixes then suffixes with file colon .pdf. To the left of the screen are the results by just typing in suffixes. The top result is your dictionary. However, the top results from a .pdf file search has something completely different. To the right of the screens are the results from this search. Now I have a document from Scholastic that is far more reliable than yourdictionary.com. You can also try out these file type searches for things like PowerPoint presentations and Word documents. Number four, hyphens remove search results. If you're frustrated by what's appearing in your search results, then you can clean up what you're looking for by including a hyphen followed by the keyword you would like removed from your results. Take for example, I am looking for noun activities and most of the results come from Pinterest. However, when I type in noun activities, but this time I include hyphen Pinterest, all of the search results from Pinterest have been removed. As you can see, my search results have been cleaned up and they have been replaced by Teach Starter and Twinkle. Number five, quotation marks. If you ever want Google to search for a specific phrase in the order that it appears on the screen, then make sure you use quotation marks. Let's compare the results of typing in letters and sounds phase five worksheets and then the same thing with quotation marks. As you can see, the words letters and sounds phase five worksheets appear in any order across all of the search results. But when the quotation marks have been used, notice how only the exact phrase appears in our search results. While the results may be subtle, we're more likely to find that thing we're looking for by using quotation marks with our search inquiries. Okay, now this is what you've been wanting to hang around for. Here are some examples of how you can combine four of the five Google research hacks I've previously talked about to obtain incredibly powerful search results. Let's say I was a teacher who was tasked with implementing a bring your own device policy at my school. Now if I type in bring your own device in Google without these research hacks, I haven't exactly found what I'm looking for. But if I include file colon .pdf, site colon .wa .edu .au, bring your own device and quotation marks, and I remove the words Catholic and Anglican from the search result. Now what I've managed to do here, I've managed to find all the PDF files of the publicly available bring your own device policies for public schools in Western Australia. Now let's do something for the principals. Let's say that I'm a new principal, but I'm unfamiliar with writing my school's strategic plan. If I just type in strategic plan, hmm, I haven't found what I'm looking for. But if I type in file colon .pdf, site colon .wa .au, I put strategic plan 2019 in quotation marks, 
and I add hyphens to the words Catholic and Anglican. Now I've found all the publicly available strategic plans that mention the number 2019 across the WA public school system. Now you can take this further, you can change the WA and put QLD, NSW, and what's more, you can also replace that year with something else and you can find the previous strategic plans from other schools. So now you have five Google research hacks and you've learned how to obtain incredibly powerful search results. Be careful with this information. I'd love to know how this video has helped you to find what you're looking on Google. So leave a comment for me down below. If you're on the hunt for more educational resources like websites, iPad apps, YouTube videos and channels, then head over to my website, Griffin Education Enterprises. You can also head over to my TPT website for more free content. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel, Griffin Education Enterprises. I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching. Ciao.